Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. It's Diesel Talk, boy. Come on now. Yeah, man. What y'all motherfuckers do this morning, man? Come on, man. You better have got your buff on, man. Your exercise. Did you walk did you walk around the block at least two, three times? God damn it. Shit. Nigga, this, 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 come on, man. Do about nigga 20 jumping jacks or something. <laughs> Real. Man, come on, man. Stay large in the charge. You know what I'm saying? This is what we doing, man. Remember, we 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 in a forward movement position. We going up. Yeah. Come on, man. Walk around the block a couple times just to get started. Straight up. Hey. But yeah, though, listen, man. You know, like always, it's a lot happening within the culture. You know, with the takeoff situation, you know, a lot of uh, information that people are providing from, you know, these blogs and, you know, these, uh, you know, these video recorders and, uh, you know, pull out your phones and, you know, this, that and the other type of um, situation scenarios. And this is what's going on. And uh, listen, straight up. We can't get in the mind of thinking that we never going to slip. We can't be thinking about it. We can't be thinking about all the time. But hey, man, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, you're going to get saved. Right? Because anything can happen in any given moment. And out of those moments, me, you, or anybody are not protected. There are times where we're vulnerable throughout the day. Point blank, period. And I don't care if you say you suited and booted and had your motherfucking war suit on for one day. Does that mean you're going to be doing it continuously every damn day? No. And what about what I mean by that is just say people say, oh, you may not go out. Don't go out or ooh, ooh, ooh. just say you at your house and somebody come to rob you in your motherfucking house. And a person, um, you don't got your you don't got you, you don't got your blamey on you. You don't got your burner on you. Your burner ain't right there at least. Somebody come in, breaking in your shit, boom, you gone. The first thing the outsider is going to say within the culture this is the first, this is the first thing, one of the first things that we say is black people. Oh, man, it's a lifestyle. You know, he was living, man. He should have kept his gun everywhere he motherfucking walked. He should have been keeping it, man. Come on, man. That's not realistic. Because like I said, everybody has a period of time where they can get caught slipping. That's fact. When death hits, not too many people are prepared for it. Not too many people hop in, who hops in their car and says, oh yeah, man, I'm finna, I'm finna die in 15 minutes in this car crash. But it happens. Right, so, so I'm saying that to say this. It's, gr it's great to... Um, not put yourself in situations. And I think that's a whole learning. That's a whole um, um, learning um, way to look at it. Right. Because that's important as well. But don't think because you put yourself in the best type of circumstances and situations that this won't happen. That does not equal. It won't happen. So always remember that part, too. Don't think that, oh, I don't go out. Um, I come in early. Um, I'm responsible about the things that I do and don't, that doesn't mean you're going to be ready for death, fact so don't put your mind into that but for the majority and what we need to soak in from it is that don't put your mind in situations don't, don't, don't put yourself in situations where things can easily happen, that's true they can easily happen because we all know there's situations that you could easily put yourself in where shit will happen and the likelihood of it happening, ooh wee, is about an eight out of 10. Straight up, I didn't say it, it's, it's what statistics say. Y'all been around all type of shit, so have I. We know, we know where we put ourselves at and we know, right, what type of situations and things will happen while we place ourselves there, what can happen. Some of us still place ourselves in situations and they see some fucked up happen to somebody else. That's the that, that's another crazy part. How many times you gotta go through you? You might be at the same club, the same spot, 
I don't care what it is, in front of a liquor store, at a club, at this person's house, this person's house, all that, and you might have seen some foul play go on, but because it didn't happen to you, it wore off. Yeah, it was fucked up seeing it, and you were there, of course, so you got to witness it, but you don't, because it didn't happen to you, you don't look that deep into it, and maybe you did for a day or two, maybe even a week or two, but it wore off, and now you're back putting yourself in the same environment. Who does that? Stop thinking that motherfuckers is cats and got nine lives. Come on. You've seen something happen already. And that's and that's when a person's brain is really messed up because basically what we say when we put ourselves in those type of environments over and over again is that we 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 value in life less and less and less and less. This is what we saying. Well, because if we don't, why are we saying, man, once you once, once we see the crazy shit happening, look, because you feel it, a lot of times you feel it first. For sure you feel it creeping on, like, man, I shouldn't even be here, but, man, whatever, man, I'm still here, man, week after week after week after week, doing the same type of shit. And then if you know something happens to somebody, boom, you're supposed to be like, oh, hell no, that's the final draw. That's the final draw. Look, once you once you visualize, once you visualize something with your own eyes, that has to be your own final draw and be like, fuck that. It's time to abort mission. Straight, straight up. Straight up. What ego? Why the black motherfucker always got a super ego? Why can't he be like, why, why when he says, oh yeah, man, I'm I'm, I'm not going back there, Why why everybody that's around him has to look at him like, oh man, whatever, that just happened because of, no, it didn't just happen just because of, it happened because we had a fucked up spot, negative energy is here, nigga, even if it don't happen this weekend, nigga, it's bound to happen because what everybody involves themselves in at these certain type of spots and places. It's the energy it brings. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And a lot of us, we put ourselves in them situations over and over again. It's diesel talk, boy. Wake it up, fool. Drop some shit in the comments. Let me know how y'all feeling, man. Pop this shit, man. Let me know. Come on. Let me know what's going on in your city. Let me know how you feeling about all this that we seeing, that we hearing about. Let me know. Give your opinion. Remember, there's no right or wrong. You feel me? The main thing is that we don't want to chop each other's head off over this, over this shit that we just conversing about. Boy, diesel talk. Boy, rise it up. Boy, level up. Hit that mushroom. Boy, get supersized and big. Boy.